Hi, I'm Cindy Hogan. And I'm Heather Banks. This tryout video is one of four videos that will show you the new My Connection feature exclusive to the new SDX325 and SDX330D. My Connection allows the SDX325 and SDX330D to communicate with a wirelessly connected XP embroidery machine. Built-in cut data can be sent directly to My Design Center on the XP to create embroidery designs. You can also send embroidery data directly to the SDX325 and the SDX330D machines wirelessly. In addition, once My Connection is enabled on the XP, the XP adds a new function, the ability to create appliques from shapes and embroidery designs and not just around the exterior of the design. In this video today, you will learn how to retrieve a pattern on the SDX325 or 330D machine through My Connection and then wirelessly transfer the FCM pattern to the XP. Once at the XP, you will see where the patterns are retrieved in My Design Center and understand their usefulness. I'm excited to get started. How about you, Heather? I can't wait. Let's get going. On the home screen, touch the left navigation arrow once to navigate to the My Connection key and then touch My Connection. My Connection is where you go to find patterns that can be used to transfer to the XP and this functionality opens over 1300 designs with the exception of Disney designs and can be used as artwork within My Design Center on the XP embroidery machine. There are two options in My Connection. You can send designs from the Scan and Cut SDX to the XP, or you can retrieve an embroidery file from the XP. Since we are going to send to the XP from the SDX machine, send is the appropriate option to select. This feature really is amazing. It provides exceptionally clean artwork for you to use when creating a design in My Design Center. We need to select a cut design to send to the XP. There are two options on the screen, pattern and machine's memory. The machine's memory option is for where you have saved a cut file created in My Connection to the machine. It doesn't access all of the Scan and Cut DX's memory. The memory function is helpful if you created a combination cut file that you might want to use later. Let's touch pattern. Pattern will take us to all of the built-in content in the Scan and Cut DX machine, with the exception of Disney, if you are working with the SDX 330D. Disney is unavailable due to copyright and licensing agreements. Select Category 2, General Designs. This is where you'll find a large variety of cut files and subcategories. As I mentioned before, there are over 1,300 built-in designs. Navigate to page two and select subcategory 16, lace designs. This is where you will find some intricate cut files. They will make beautiful embroidery files as well once they are converted to embroidery in My Design Center. Touch AR0020 to select the design. Touch the plus sign next to the height button to increase the size to five inches. I wanted the flower a bit larger so that it would be in proportion with my final project. Touch set. This will take you to the layout screen of the Scan and Cut DX. Notice there is a gray area on the right side of the screen. This is the outer boundary of the largest hoop on the XP machine, 10 and 5 eighths by 16. You will also see the arrow at the bottom of the mat. If you touch that, you will see there is gray area there as well. If you resize your design, you must keep your design within the white area of the Scan and Cut DX mat. Otherwise, the design will provide an error message when you go to transfer it. It will only transfer complete patterns within the white area. If part of your pattern is in the gray area and it is connected to part of the white area, some of the pattern will not be transferred to the XP. Touch Transfer. This wirelessly transfers the FCM file to the My Design Center program in an XP that has My Connection activated. This is the only way to get an FCM file into My Design Center. Now that Heather sent the design to our XP machine, 
let's go into my design center. My design center is the Luminaire's onboard digitizing program. This allows you to create your own designs directly on your embroidery machine. No other software is needed. It's now become even better with the My Connections ability to bring in FCM data. To retrieve your FCM file, we want to touch the Stamps Shape key. When the Scan and Cut DX machine transfers the FCM file to the Luminaire, it goes to a pocket in the Stamps Shape area to await retrieval. Files are held here until the area gets full. When the oldest is removed, it will add the most current. Touch the Retrieve from the Scan and Cut DX key. This is where you will locate the cut files that have been transferred wirelessly to the XP machine. We're going to touch the flower that Heather transferred over here and then touch OK to retrieve the design. This will open it on the active design screen to allow you to add fills or change outline types or simply to add a decorative fill around the design to have an outline design. Let's touch the fill properties key. This is where you will locate all the fill stitches and color selections available to you in My Design Center. Let's select a color for the flower and touch OK. We want to choose the flood fill key in order to fill the entire area instead of having to paint in our fill. Once you've got the flood fill key selected, touch the flower to fill in the area. Touch next. This will take you to the next steps in the digitizing process. On this screen, you can adjust different properties for the stitches in a design. Let's first touch under sewing. Since this is quite a large design, we probably want to have under sewing turned on. So touch on to turn on under sewing. Touch OK to apply it. The under sewing will be applied. Under the fill type area, there are arrows. I want to change the entire outline to a different style. So I'm going to touch the arrow next to the link key and we are going to touch the link key. Once we've done that we can select a different stitch by touching on the stitch selection menu. Instead of doing it on the design screen area it is easier to change the stitch type here that way you don't have to touch multiple parts at one time. This will allow us to change all of the outlines by linking them together to that triple stitch at one time. Let's touch OK and our change will be applied. Touch set because we are all done. Touch OK when the next message appears. This is telling you that you are leaving the creation window and are converting the design to embroidery. If you want to save the created file before moving to embroidery, you will choose cancel and then memory before moving on to the next section. Let's touch OK. We're now in embroidery and you're ready to move on and embroider the design. Hoop and embroider the design onto your project. As you can see, My Connection can really expand your XP's creative capabilities with the ability to transfer FCM files from the SDX325 and SDX330D. This expands the number of shapes that you can create embroidery files with through the Luminaire's onboard digitizing program, My Design Center. The transfer process couldn't be easier once both machines are connected to a network and it makes for a seamless, faster workflow. We really think you'll enjoy the new creative opportunities that My Connection offers.